The Anchorage Animal Shelter is running out of room. They've stopped taking in owner surrenders and are offering a discount for adoption fees. Joe Kinnean visited the shelter to find answers. The shelter has plenty of adorable dogs available for adoption. And if you're currently in the market for a new pet, here's why you might want to adopt one from the shelter. According to the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, about 3.1 million dogs go into animal shelters each year. Out of those, 2 million are adopted, 700,000 are returned to their owners, and almost 400,000 are euthanized. That's probably the busiest time of the year for us in taking new dogs, whether they be strays or owner surrenders. Jorgensen says that for Anchorage, this is most likely due to families moving to the lower 48 in the spring, as well as dogs being outside more in the warmer weather. With a recent influx of dogs and a pause on owner surrenders, the Anchorage Animal Shelter is looking for people to bring in a new member to their families. We're trying to find them uh, homes as soon as possible, get them out of the shelter and into a better environment. So we've lowered the adoption fee to $42 in hopes that we'll get some dogs adopted a lot quicker. At its peak, there were about 66 dogs in the shelter. Since its pause, they managed to get down to 46 dogs and are now beginning to take in owner surrenders again. But if you are looking to find a new home for your current pet, Jorgensen has a suggestion. If you're wanting to surrender your own animal for any given reason, uh, another good option would be going to rehome.com, which is a good website where you can look up families in your area that are willing to take in dogs. Skipping the shelter process and finding a pet in immediate home. And if you're looking for a new pet, the shelter can be an excellent option for a few reasons. First, Jorgensen says these dogs are already potty trained, and with fully developed personalities, you'll have a better idea of what you'll be getting into when they move in with you. And second, Jorgensen says it helps the community by keeping animals off the street and giving them a comfortable home to live in. It's a lot better than staying here in kennels and just getting walked by volunteers frequently. They'd much rather have a family to curl up with and have a yard to run in. So if you're thinking about bringing in a new pet, you may want to consider adoption at the shelter. Joel also says that if you happen to find a stray, you can help by checking the Pet Harbor website or by looking at Anchorage Pets Lost and Found on Facebook. Joe Kinnean, Alaska's News Source.